some breaking news. We're going to move on to Tottenham. But there's some breaking news here about Tottenham from Matt Law that Spurs plan to make contact with Luis Enrique. Um, we will touch on that a little bit later in the Spurs section. But Sav, I know, I know, I know you did the match reaction Saturday, but another embarrassing weekend for you lot. It's not embarrassing. It's just called normality now. It's yeah. um, it's I I honestly I I don't get hurt by these defeats. If that makes me a lesser fan, though, I'm a lesser fan. But I I you just expect them. You just expect them now. Um, you know, look, look, our fan base, like any other fan base, you know, we do the, you know, let's look at our next five games and how many points are we getting from these fifteen? And we all go, oh, that's free and that's free and that's free. And you go, oh, brilliant, we're getting we're getting fifteen points from fifteen. Next thing you know, you go, oh, my God, we didn't beat Everton and oh, we failed to beat Southampton. And oh, hang on, there's Bournemouth as well. They've turned us over. So um, you just kind of get used to it. But I don't know if Jules would agree with me. I just think at the moment, if ever a club, if ever a club needed to get to a summer <laughs> and, get, and get a season finished with, um, 100%. I think as much as us Spurs fans will disagree on owners and managers and players, I think we all agree that we need to get to this summer. We need to we need to appoint a new manager, and serious serious changes need to need to happen at Tottenham Hotspur. Um, but yeah, it's it's not embarrassing when it keeps happening. <laughs> it's just it it's it's uh, it's the history of the Tottenham. As uh, mm-hmm. as Jose Mourinho or Conte or both of them said, so yeah, good fun times, eh, George? Yeah, no, we all see the team him at the moment. Honestly, like it's just a day in a life as a Spurs fan. We're not surprised when when we when that third goal went in. I was just like, again, again, yeah, not surprised. They done to us what we did to them. Yeah. Um, it's it's just a circus over there at Spurs at the moment. We we honestly have nothing. Like even just. I don't even want to, I know you want to touch on the news later, but hearing we plan to contact, what have we been doing for the past month? Like, <laughs> what what does that even mean? You plan to contact a manager. Like, we're just sitting around doing nothing. And um, yeah, like you you don't you can't really expect much from much from this team, you can't expect much from the players. They like a mentality, they have for the past years. And you hear Stellini going into press conferences saying there's 10 finals, there's eight finals, there's seven finals left. Mate, we don't win no fucking finals. So what does that mean? <laughs> Honestly, what does that mean? Like, you're just setting us up for failure. We're not going to do anything this season. And like like Sam said, I, I just, we, we need to skip to the end of the season. Don't really care where we finish. I don't really care about what happens at the rest of the season. I just want to know what's going to happen going into next season. What can we look forward to? Because European football, yeah, we can get it. What's going to happen? Not with this team. Uh, you, I, I'm not watching European football with these players. I'll tell you that now. There, there's no point. You're just setting us setting us up for t- to be laughed at yet again next season. And yeah, there's there's really nothing good to look at Tottenham right now. It's just a joke. I don't think it's only about the players. I'm sorry. I don't think it's only about the players. You hired winners. You got players. I we were told that you had the best summer transfer the the, the summer window last summer and. I think it's all about the club and it's not the owners because the owners are the ones who bought the players. The owners who the ones who got you Mourinho, the owners are the ones who got you Conte, the owners are the ones who got you the Bissumas and, and, and the Romeros, right? It's not about that. It's about the culture of the club. I, I think sorry. I think <laughs> sorry. What am I what am I hearing? Sorry. Uh dude. Yeah. The, so, so explain so explain it, to me it, how it are, are you a, telling the owners? It is hundred percent the owners. It is a hundred percent the owners. So right. well, how? Okay, so Let's put it this way, right? Tottenham Hotspur get Jose Mourinho and Antonio Conte. Brilliant. The owners, well done for getting a world-class manager. Right? Then give them tools that these guys can't work with. If you bring... if I'll explain to you. If you bring in world-class managers, world-class managers don't work with players like Ben Davis, Eric Dyer, Hoiberg, Ollie Skip, um, Emerson Royal, Davinson Sanchez, Davinson Sanchez. Let me, let me right? respond. You're, you're only mentioning respond. Respond to that. They got you Kulusevski, who Mourinho, who Conti wanted. They got you Bentancur, he wanted. Yeah. They got you Besuma, who everybody wanted. I'm sorry, you cannot replace the whole club. Ten Hag is working with the same squad, only adding three, four players. Well, you got wait. players. You want to replace? Yes, you but they, replace. they address the problem, areas though. Yeah, yeah I, I don't get why Tottenham have refused to buy another centre back. I don't get why they why they persist with Ben Davies as a left centre. I don't get why they persist 
with Eric Dyer. I don't get why they persist with Davidson Sanchez as uh, an Antonio option. Uh, yes, it, Tom, Tom, Antonio Conti said Eric Dyer is okay. So he was okay with him. Oh my, yeah, manager oh, was okay with him. It's on him. What, what is he going to do? Though? Is, he gonna, is he going to go out to the press? Is he no, going to go out to the press and go, Eric Dyer is awful. I don't he did, that. He did that with other players. He did that with other players. No, no offense. I, I, no I'm, offense. I'm not, I'm not well versed on Conte. What players did he sit there and go, I don't want, I don't need them, get, get them gone? The, yeah, this smacks, about anyway. this smacks of someone not understanding a rival club. I'm so sorry, my man. But these owners, this is this isn't one summer. This is this isn't about this one year under Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte is this year, right? This has happened with every manager we've had. You've got you've got Harry. If I go back, I could go back to I could go back to the 80s if I needed to, but I won't, right? You've got Harry Redknapp who at the turn of the year had us in third place, about three points off second place. And he wanted Cahill and Tevez and ends up getting Ryan Nelson and Luis Saha. George, stop me at any point if I'm wrong on any of my Tottenham history here, right? right? Yeah, yeah. You've then got, um, you've then got uh, Martin Yol being sacked at half time during a game. You have got um, Pochettino who worked wonders for the time he did. He worked wonders with a bare 11 um, and was free transfer windows. And the only player they bought in in free transfer windows was Lucas Mora. You've then got Jose Mourinho who comes in and they buy him Joe Hart, Gedson Fernandez on loan, Matt Doherty, Joe Roden, Bergwijn, Vinicius, right? And you think that you think that's back in a manager. Then you've got Conte. Other than, yeah, Kulisevsky and Benzenkor, they're good players. But like I said earlier, they're not world class players. They're good players. They're good, right? So you've brought those two in. But like Tom said, yeah, man, you this year, man, you turn around and go, right, what do we need? We need a world class defensive midfielder. I know. There's Casemiro. We need we need someone in the middle of the park who can control the game. There's Christian Eriksen. Yeah. We need us, we need a top center half. There's Lissandra Martinez. Spurs got Basuma who doesn't even play in a Conte-type system. We got Jed Spence, right? We got Longley, who is diabolical. We got Perisic, who's 407, right? We got Richarlison, who is awful. T to turn around and say, this is not on our owners, I'm I'm sorry. No, I've no, got back in the club, now. I'm sorry. No, the finances don't lie, my friend. Man City, net spend, no, the finances don't lie. Do you spend money? Here's the problem with your owners. Who said it's we didn't spend money? You do spend money, right? Yeah. So badly. here's the problem with that. So you didn't let me finish. So I let you so say whatever. Like yeah, all but the badly. Talk. You're not You've wrong. Right. Let, me, let, me, let me tell you that. I was going to tell you what the problem with your owners. It's the culture of the club. It's bringing a player and tell them you're here to win, not to participate. My problem with Spurs is that you're okay with participation. You're okay with just competing. While other clubs, they bring a player, they tell them you're here to win. You're here to but Mo, you say the culture of the club. Who sets the culture of the club? It's, every, it's everything. The it's, it's, every, no, the it's everything. The owners, the owners set, can only they, they yeah, yeah. set the but, culture of the club because the fans don't I mean. accept this. You're that's acting what, like the fans are out here yeah, just saying this is great, this is amazing. When we're all calling for it, saying this isn't good enough. We've said Brilliant. this for ages. Great. And now so you're saying the culture of the club. George, you know what, right? The thing is as well, you've got to turn around and say, right, it's all well and good going, right, you're here to win. If I go and buy 10 players from the championship and go, right, guys, you are here to win the Premier League. If they've not got that quality and that calibre, I can I can preach to them all I want. Yeah, the difference is Man City, yeah, buy top quality players for a top quality manager. Liverpool under, under Klopp, we won't go into this year, Tom, but Liverpool under Klopp have bought in top quality players for a top quality manager. Spurs buy very mediocre players and then people go, oh, it's the culture. No, it's not. It's the caliber and quality of the footballers. How about that? Qu the quality of the players before they joined the club? Davinson Sanchez with an Euro Europa League final against Man United and Jose Mourinho wanted him. And he's a 50 million Jose euro Mourinho Jose Mourinho oh, didn't yeah. sign him. No, no, let me, let me just tell you. But, but you're saying, Bissouma, everybody wanted him. I think, again, the play Kolosevsky, you guys wanted him. I say in Italy he wasn't great, but a lot of teams praised him and they said he's great. Some of the players that join your club Okay, they join the club and they get worse. Romero was one of the best center backs based on everybody's talk before he joined. Now he's good. He's not the same level. Why? I think why? the level drops. Why? Don't, what, why why, why, is, why? why is Romero not as good? 
But I'll tell you, that's because, because, because he's playing alongside Davinson Sanchez, Eric Dyer, and Ben Davis. Basuma, why is Basuma not been good this year? Oh, that's right, because we don't play the same formation as what he played at Brighton. Why is you said Kulusevsky? Kulusevsky wasn't. Let's be, let's have this right, yeah. Tom will back me up on this. Kulusevsky was the backup signing because we missed out on Luis Diaz because Liverpool mm -hmm. outbid us, right? Yeah. So Kulusevsky was a last... Uh, uh, listen, I'm not knocking. Kulusevsky's a good player. He's young. He'll learn. He'll grow. But let's not make out that Spurs went out, took a top-quality player from a top-quality club. We took a player that couldn't hold down a place at Juventus, right? And we've got that player We couldn't hold now. down a place at Juventus because Ben Sanko was tacked on the deal as well. Uh, absolutely. So, so, when, so when... you're saying, Sava, Sava, let me get this straight. Just a question. You're saying yeah? that the, the owners don't spend enough or they recruit wrong? I, 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 as I said, the, the owners spend money. They they okay. they recruit they recruit wrong, and their internal structure is wrong. For example, please don't all laugh at once because this really hurts me. This one, Eric Dyer is about to sign a new three year contract at this football club. I, I keep right? hearing that. <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm glad you've all had your laugh. Eric Dyer is about to sign a new three year contract, and then I get fans from other clubs like you going, you know what? It's not the owners. Well. Who's giving that man a contract? Because our director of football's sitting in prison in Italy somewhere, and our manager. Oh, we don't, we don't have, have one. <laughs> so we're signing new players exactly. to new deals with no manager in place. We're supposed to be having a plan. We're supposed to be looking for a manager. We're supposed to be bringing someone in to make changes. But we're already signing new players to new deals. So pretty much, when the manager comes in, he's going to say, <laughs> "Eric Dyer, you've got to work with him. Human Son, you've got to work with him." You've got to work with all these players because they've got deals. We've just gave them new deals. We're paying them this much money. So that's the issue, though. It's always going to be on the owners. And until the owners change the philosophy about how they run this club, nothing's going to improve about Tottenham. Good. And we're just going to go agree. into this season I, I, with no plan. I, I, I agree. But this summer, though, George, if you bring in Luis Enrique and you have a good summer in the transfer market, but I turn around and say, I don't think you'll win a trophy, please don't come for me again. <laughs> I mean, it was a bit, let's let's be real, Terry. It was very different last summer. Conte didn't just have his first summer. He had his he had his uh, the back end of last season in which we played very well. We actually played good football. We had good results. So that was building upon that. If the team didn't build upon that and they didn't continue to play that way, there's nothing that I can do to predict that. I was going off the back end of last season using the results that we knew, that we got and the way that we played, the amount of goals we were scoring. I was confident in, in the way that we would go into this season. We obviously didn't carry on and take that momentum into the season. A lot of those players that played good at the back end of last season, like Dyer, like Lloris, are now are some of our worst performers. So there's nothing that I can do to predict that. I mean, if I come for your head, I come for your head. Just real quick, though. Just real quick. Sorry, let me just, let me just respond, sorry, Tom. I get where you're coming from, but I said you had, I predicted you to make top four last year over Arsenal. A lot of the new subscribers to the Terrace or people that maybe have seen my Arsenal clips this year to give me stick. One Spurs fan actually said yesterday to me, I've never once in the history of the football terrace seen you back or saying anything nice about Tottenham. And I said, when did you start watching? He went, this season. It's like, well, that's ridiculous. The channel's six years old. But I said what I said based on your window not being very good. But now, I, I, Sav has always said it's been bad. But like what Mo's essentially pointing out is that if you guys have a window this summer and it gets bigged up by your PR team, a lot of your fans will go, this they is will. the one, guys. And then when it goes wrong, and people go, well, it can't be your owners because you said they did a good job in the summer. It goes back to them again. I feel me. like this narrative is wrong, though, Terry, because... But hang on, never... because if, your owners, if your owners are the problem and they always get it wrong, why, if a rival goes, I think your owners have got it wrong again, would you not go fair... Po at least say fair point. <laughs> No, but Terry, all this talk about Tot Tottenham won the transfer, it's a lot of rubbish because I never sat there and said this. Any smart, sensible Tottenham fan sat there and said, you can go and watch the clips back, Terry, if you really want to. Yeah, I said the window was a six out of ten. Worried. We, we've done, worried. Review, we done how many reviews of the transfer you window? And I said, you weren't concerned. You weren't worried. No, Terry, concerned. I sat there and said, my concern is that we did not sign a centre-back. We did not sign a centre-mid. The window was good, but it was not amazing. It was a good window. It was one of the best windows we had spending-wise in a long time. Tottenham don't usually go out there and get decent players and spend some money. It doesn't mean that it was amazing and it was better than what we were thought it would be, but a lot of the players didn't live up to the hype. No one thought Basuma was Can we call it what hype. it is? Can, can we call Tottenham Hotspur for what it is, right? And this is a Spurs supporter of 40 years saying this, right? This is not my first rodeo at supporting Tottenham Hotspur. 
All right. I've not been, I've been let down many a time, right? Tottenham Hotspur, the owners that you just failed to put any blame on, Mo, right? No, I did. Oh, no, 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 hang no. On, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 Saba. Hang on, Saba. hang on. No, hang do on. not quote me wrong. Do not okay. quote me all wrong. Right. All right, Please. it's all right. Don't worry. No one cares. <laughs> it's not important, right? The, the owners have created in the last 10, 15 years a culture where there is no ethos, a culture where there is no plan, a culture where there is no strategy, a culture where there is no structure. What I mean by all of that is this, is if you turn around and say, that is how Spurs play football, nobody knows anymore. Nobody knows what are we? What are we as a football team? If anyone says, is that a Spurs signing? No one knows anymore because we've had so many different managers over the last 10 years with so many different styles of play that our squad now is this mismatch of players that played under Poch in a free-flowing pressing style, players that played under Jose and Conte in a, in a more uh, defensive, negative, free-at-the-back setup. So there's no plan at the club. So for me, you can bring in Luis Enrique. Cool, Luis Enrique will get teams playing good football. However... What Tottenham fans, this is what I would say, my message to all Tottenham fans out there is, if you bring in a Luis Enrique, he's got to be on the same page as whoever the director of football is next season and the owners. And they've all need to got, they've all got to turn around and go, right, this is the start of something new. We build. We build something now. We build and play the way Luis Enrique plays. And that is not going to happen in one window because none of our players are capable of playing tick attack. I think George will back me up. If you bring in Luis Enrique and you want to be able to play that zippy type of ticker tack of football, we're going to need to go and sign seven, eight players. Not going to happen. So, listen, the whole thing needs to be scrapped. The whole thing needs to be reset. And the sooner these owners go, the sooner a lot of Spurs fans will be very happy. I, I get that. I'm going to go to you in a second, Tom. By the way, Tom, you, you so close to your mic, we can hear you breathing, Tom. <laughs> it's very nice for me. I like the sound. I think it sounds good.